Bill Bratton now, former New York City Police Commissioner, author of the new memoir, The Profession. Commissioner, thank you. What do police departments need to do, in your estimation, to combat the surge in violence? Well, that's the uh, issue, uh, Shepard, that uh, there are no short-term or long-term solutions immediately apparent at the moment. This sudden rise in crime uh, brought a lot of agencies, a lot of government officials and the public off guard. And the focus had always been on the COVID virus. So unlike the last crime epidemic that took decades to build up to the early 90s, this one has occurred literally overnight. It's like the virus. It's just literally out of nowhere. And so solutions are not immediately apparent. We're in for a very long, dangerous summer. That's mm -hmm. the reality. Commissioner, one of the themes of your book is how policing in America goes through cycles of progress and setback. D does this rise fit that cycle you wrote about, or is it related to the enormous societal changes as the pandemic wanes? I think it's uh, related very specifically to the societal changes that we're going through, that uh, the causes of this crime epidemic are the influences, because there is no specific cause, are many. We let a lot of people out of jail very rapidly because of the virus. Courts were shut down for almost a year, so there was really no punishment for people arrested for violent crime. Uh, we lost thousands upon thousands of police officers through the illness, uh, but also for early retirements, the uh, low morale in police organizations. Uh, we have been going through a phenomenal degree of criminal justice reform. So the tools that were available to the police back in the 90s when we that last dealt with the crime epidemic just aren't there any longer. And the bad news is, come October, when the Supreme Court issues their ruling on the uh, gun licensing around the country, anybody in America will be able to carry a gun anywhere without a license. So talk about a second uh, uh, virus uh, striking. Uh, but the future does not look very promising at the moment. You know, gun violence is nothing new, as you said. It's an epidemic in the country. Is there a way to actually stop it? Or no matter what people with this solution or that one may say, we're just sort of stuck in this for a while? We're stuck in it for a while with the idea that uh, we actually start getting an understanding of uh, what brought it about so suddenly, and I listed several of those uh, potentials, that uh, we have a moment in time where police are not trusted the way they were. Uh, back in the 90s, there was a demand to get tough on crime. We're not hearing that demand yet. And even if we were to hear that demand, I'm not so sure that the police are adequately staffed, adequately funded, adequately trained to meet that demand, let alone the rest of the criminal justice system. We're in a period of time where we want to empty out the jails. Nobody really wants to put more people back in jail. But the reality is there are violent people in our society that need to be in jail. So America's got to figure out what it in fact wants. And right now, there's a lot of confusion as to what it wants. Can't have it all, that's for sure. Commissioner Bratton, thank you so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.